how's everyone doing today uh we're gonna be going over a two system sorter here um that i have built on my minecraft server and like the back end and how to hook all this up because you can usually find build guides for uh, the various sorter systems but this is just i guess a combination of two and how you would have them interact in the back end um so we have the normal single item sorter over here uh, you just pulls out whatever one particular item that it's looking for and then it'll put it in a row of chests and then we have the multi-item sorter here um, where it looks for a bunch of different things and if it finds a match in the item that passes through it it'll pull it out and put it in a um, slice is the best way to call it I have my my floors are color coded per slice so like these two blocks is one slice and these two blocks is another slice so Anything in these two columns is all the same um, filter. Uh, and then at the end of this multi-item sorter, uh, you're gonna need some sort of system to handle overflow. If this system were to like back up and maybe you had an item go into it that wouldn't be filtered out, uh, like single or unstackable items, for example, are not capable of being sorted in this current system. Or things you just don't have a filter for, for like the dyes. I don't have a place for them to go yet and like cooked food and stuff like that. So they end up over here in the overflow. Um, so anyway, if we go to uh, upstairs, we'll show um, the beginning of this system up in my house. So the start, these are just simple input chests. Uh, we have a regular chest or two regular chests, just in case I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. And then right underneath it, you can see right here, the hopper. So the hopper will pull items out of each chest and it will take it through um, a hopper chain underneath the floor. It goes this way and then uh, all the way down to the actual sorting room down there. Uh, there's another input over on in another house over there. Um, and you can see there's a, I have a whole hopper line that brings all those items over. Uh, you could use like a water stream or something here. And if you didn't want to use hopper chains, but, and it would be, it would be better for server performance, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Uh, the hoppers aren't going to really put out, aren't really going to degrade server performance, especially if you put composters on top. All right. So back down in the actual sorting. Um, so the items come in, uh, here to this, this hopper, um, pillar, and then they go along the back here. And this is where they actually all get it pulled out. So the items you put in are pulled out one by one, and then they are actually sorted starting from here. So for example, we look at one of these, we have andesite, right? So if an andesite block flows over top of this, this hopper will pull the andesite out uh, and then we'll go down into the sorting system. It will go down, not into the sorting system, into the chests down here. Um, and it'll always go to the bottom chest. Well, that's where all my andesite is. And once that fills up and the hopper behind it fills up, then it starts going into the second chest and then that second chest hopper fills up and then third and then third hopper chest fills up. And then, yeah, that's single item. Um, Sorters. I'll, I'll go over just a real quick build example um, for that, just because it's pretty pretty easy to build. Um, it's just a comparator, three things of redstone dust, a repeater, and a torch. Uh, but like I said, I'll go over that later. And then over here, after it goes through all the single item sorters, it comes over here to this, which is a, um, it's a dropper elevator. It goes up and puts it into this chest, which is where the start of the multi-item sorter is. Uh, in the video for these multi-item sorters, which I will link, I'm not going to do a build build tutorial for these because they're, I mean, that's like, what, a 20, 30 minute video in itself just to do a build tutorial for, for this. But I will do the link to the, um, the creator of this so that you can see a build tutorial. As for these, uh, this particular design, um, you can build this um, with another, with a client side mod called La uh, Lightmatica, which will do this for you. 
it'll put down a blueprint and then you can go through the blueprint and um hold on and actually build the build the structure itself and you can do it layer by layer right so this is the bottom layer actually i think there's no okay that is the bottom layer and then you can go up a layer Single layer. There we go. And then, so now that first layer is gone. So then you build the second layer, then you build the third layer, and you keep going up and up until you're done with the entire build. So that's Lightmatica. Uh, my, I would recommend this very much if you're going to do a this particular build. It's pretty, uh, pretty involved. Um, so there's that. And then uh, just the thing that I found in particular with this schematic for this build, um, when I was building this, my my redstone power on my build was different than the schematic. In the schematic, you can see that you know this is supposed to be a power three, this is supposed to be a power, a power four. You can see it in the top right corner of the screen. And then what I actually had when I had built this whole thing um, were different power levels than what it was showing but it didn't end up affecting the build at all so just be aware that these blocks will be yellow because the power level will be wrong uh, according to the schematic but it it won't actually interfere at all with the, the building of the multi-item sorter and um i guess some key points for this schematic is that these hoppers right here these two are your your items that got sorted so if, if it finds a match for your items, they will come out of this hopper and this hopper based on these chests, based on what you're filtering out. So um, these are these are just the sorters. This is not there's no storage involved in this. You have to put the storage below these hoppers. And if you look at how I have it, the multi item sorters are right here. All right. And then we, we follow this down and here's the output hoppers. And they go into this chest. And then this chest has a hopper, it goes in this chest, and it just chains down until it's all the way at the bottom. So however you design, decide to design your storage system, you know, just be aware it comes off of this hopper in particular. There's a hopper um, every other block there. Because the way these work, are these are in um, A, B slices. And by, by that, I mean there's a... The whole system is the like a whole quote unquote system is an A slice and a B slice. So you need to build these four columns um, for one whole sorter uh, section. And then you can do it again, you know, A, B, A, B, A, B. And then I turn it here. And that's, I, and that's, the, that's the next point about this schematic. So things that don't meet the filter, um, they will end up coming out of this hopper here. If the filter does not find a match, um, they will get pushed along from here, which is, you know, which is actually conveniently exactly uh, three blocks above where the filtered items would be. So this is where the filter item comes out. This is where the item will get pushed through if it does not match. And so knowing that, we can look over here. And here's the items that don't match. And I just have a little turn here and it gets back into more sorting. Um, so I showed the overflow out the chests I have earlier for overflow, which are right down there. But here's the output for the the system, and then I just have it go down two um, two hopper columns into just some chests. Just very simple overflow, uh, just to make sure that the system doesn't ever back up. Um, but like I said, the um, so the way these things work are the fact that they you, you put all your items in here that you want to filter out of this particular column and it'll filter any of these so any of these things you see here minus these these iron uh, nuggets will get pulled out of the chest or get pulled out and then put in chests down below it and that's how that whole system works so each thing can only handle whatever you can fit into a double chest um, but you know, it's not that hard to build it. It, it is, it is a lot the first time you build it. But once you 
you get uh, an idea of the build. It's not so bad. All right, so I think next we look at maybe oh, making some of these uh, single item sorters. Um, you could just use single item sorters for all of your inventory sorting. Uh, the, the bigger problem with it is just that it's uh, how much space it takes up. You know, because you need at least one... You need, it's one column per item, essentially. Unless you build them, like... Unless you have it, like, you know, S-curve, where it goes this way, and then it comes down, and there's another set of filters, like, way below it. But even then, it's it takes up a lot of space, right? So that's why I added these multi-item sorters. Uh, and because of all the stuff you want to filter out... Like I said, this only filters one item per, per column. And there's, like, over a thousand items currently in Minecraft. So if you want to actually have a filter or a sorting system for every single item, uh, then this is not, it's going to be massive. Um, there's a couple things my system doesn't have, which you could add. And this is just, I guess, a, a thing. You, if you wanted to build something similar to this and then improve on it, I don't have a shulker box unloader. Um, and I don't have, like we saw over here, I don't have a filter for... Uh, non-stackables like armor and weapons and tools and all that stuff currently doesn't have anywhere to go so it ends up in overflow which is fine because i think most non-stackables aren't you don't really want them anyway like i'm not gonna i don't want these diamond boots and stuff i guess they're good as like backup replacement and all that but these are all over the end so you just you get them really easily all right so let's go up into the cave and we'll do a real quick uh, build example for the single item sorter, since it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to make. All right, so we're gonna build the the single item sorter here. Uh, we'll start with the back end of it, just for simplicity's sake. Um, so I'm going to start from the bottom just because it's kind of easier for me here. Uh, so we have a repeater here. A, a block there. Another block here. Torch. Alright, that's like the... What? Sir? What? Did I look at you? Sir? Get out of my face. I guess I looked at him. Oops. <laughs> well, he's dead now. All right, now we do this and this and this. And then we need a need some redstone. We need three things of redstone, and we need a comparator here. All right, so that's that's the basis of the actual sorter. That's all the redstone, at least, for the, the actual sorter. It's just two pieces of redstone, and then one more piece of redstone, one pile lower. Then a repeater facing that way, facing into the hoppers, and then a torch. And if we want to actually build the hoppers... Oh, what am I doing? They're already on my bar. So I need my hopper to be facing... Um, this hopper, this is your actual sorter hopper. It needs to be facing anywhere that is not into a, another hopper. And then we need uh, another hopper. Another hopper is going to go below it, but I'm going to do something real quick. Okay. Oh no, I don't have my pickaxe anymore. Okay, and then our hoppers now uh, from there will just feed into chests. We'll build a couple more of these. Make sure I don't run out of, hot, of stuff. All right. And then on top of this hopper, um, we would need another hopper. Or this is where you could use something else. You don't have to use a hopper here. You could use like a water stream or something. Um, something to to deliver items, but this is where the actual item uh, items coming through the system will be. I'll just put a chest on it. Nope, not quite. 
There we go. So that is the items that will be sorted. And then this will keep going uh, that direction. This would be easier if I had done this the other way. Uh, sure. Mm. How do I get up there? I have to build off this. We'll just do this for a couple blocks. Nothing crazy. I just need something so that I can hook all the hoppers up in a chain. Ouch. Okay. And then we just need to expand this. So this, like I said earlier, this is for one item. So let's say if we're doing this for however many hoppers, I have four items. Two... Three, four. Put my repeaters in first. Okay, and then all of this can just be redstone. Doesn't need to be anything special. And the comparators go here. And then again, these hoppers, they can face anywhere, but Probably the easiest place to face them is just into the comparator. Or they can face, like I said, they can face anywhere that is not into another hopper. Okay. Uh, now I can put some items in here. Um, you'll need 44 items. Uh, that will never be seen within the system. So in this case, I just renamed some bamboo into filter. Uh, and then whatever you're sorting will be in this leftmost slot. So we'll just say we're going to sort out diorite, for example. And then here again, I'm not actually, I don't actually have enough of these filter items for this. Fill up all these. But let's say that, and then we'll say this one's going to be, uh, let's not make it fireworks. Make it regular stone. And then I don't have enough to make another one. Uh, but, yeah. See, and then these will light up. Because um, it's looking at what's inside the, the hopper. And then when another item comes in here. Uh, so let's say we put in... Uh, so we have diorite here. And I know I have diorite chests there. So let's say we put in 16 diorite. Uh, the diorite here will flash to two because it's pulling the diorite from this hopper and pulling it down and then that will pull when that second piece of diorite in pops up in here that will allow these these other hoppers or should be this one to turn on right this one should be oh gosh off right now yeah actually both of these two are off the redstone allows that, and then there'll be 16 diorite in here. Um, and then... From that, like, I have stone being sorted here too, and I'll, I'll, I'll put my stone in here as well to show that it works. Uh, the stone is... Oh. Alright, so you see I didn't finish my build, so it's not working. And then you can actually see, so this torch turns off, which allows the hoppers to turn on. Now, I don't have any hoppers here either. I extremely jumped the gun. No, nope. wrong item. But now all the items will come out in this bottom hopper. But that didn't do anything because, you know, it's not obviously going to go anywhere because I don't have a chest. But you can do this for every single... Um, item that you want sorted out and you could do you like I said you could do your whole inventory system this way and this would work This would be perfectly fine and you'll see there's one diorite still left in here and one stone so we'll just do uh, both of them again just for fun and you'll see so they get pulled out this whole thing is obviously running hopper speed because it's all powered by hoppers now if we go back down both these items will be here Stone will be here, 
and diorites here. So very simple system. Um, just takes a bit of redstone. Pretty inexpensive to do. And then if we want, uh, I'm going to break this all down and we will go test the other system. My actual built inventory sorter. Just to show you how it works. Uh, and I'll show you a, a neat, uh, not a neat little thing, but something you can do for um, these kind of systems to protect them. So you saw I was using the, the bamboo called filter, right? And if so, if that bam, if a bamboo called filter, this right here, ever got into the system, it would mess up these single item sorters. As you look, you know, they all have, um, well, not that one. They all have filter in here, right? So if, if this item were ever to pass over in this hopper, then it would fit in one of the slots here. So then it would move this, the stone would get kicked out and the whole system would just freak out and the, the sorting would stop working. So to prevent this, I took some other random item and renamed it to something, you know, that will never ever potentially be seen within the inventory sorter system so that if filter my renamed bamboo ever were to show up in the chests it would just get pulled out here before it could do anything and i have another thing here a blocker this is from the multi-item sorter so it never makes it over to the multi-item sorter those are just some extra protections that you don't have to worry about that ever breaking it so we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all these items that i have in my inventory and we are just going to uh, jam them into the, the system and see what happens. So all the filters should end up here. Uh, I have diorite in my inventory, so let's move these two. Because it will always end up in the top left. I have stone. Move these two. And then I have another quartz as well. Then the rest of this is going to be filtered in the multi-item sorter. They all go into this column here. This is kind of full because it has ladders and railroads in it. But they should end up here. And there are no repeaters or anything, so they'll end up in the top left. I'll just move this stuff around. You know, the redstone torches will be here. Here, I'll move that. Redstone's going to end up on one of these stacks. But the comparators and the repeaters, there aren't any in this chest, so um, they will end up in here. So let's go run the system and see what happens. All this in here. Oh yeah, I killed an enderman. I was like, why do I have ender pearls? Those, those have a spot in the system as well. Oh, and the chests. All right, it's all gone. So if we're actually quick about this, the system is slightly slower than hopper speed. Um, so there's still items running through because the way this works is this slows down the whole system. So if we come over here, we should actually be able to see the items showing up in here as they come in. Here come the chests. What you can see, here's the hoppers, here's the repeaters, redstone. There's no comparators in here. It means my system might not be set up to pull comparators out, so I might have to set that up. So there you go. Everything's back. So we go over here. There's probably a comparator in here. Yep, there's our comparators. The system's not set up for it. And then we can go check all these other things. Quartz is there. Diorite's here. And a stone. So, all functioning perfectly. And, you know, filters ended up back in here without breaking the system or anything like that. Um, and that's it. Yeah. 
you have any questions or anything like that, uh, you know, leave in the comments. I'll help out people as much as I can with this sort of thing. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, proud, I guess, of my little build here, considering how well it works and everything. And it's, it's very functional. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Like I said, uh, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.